First of all, please tell us what was the impact of the economic crisis over the insurance markets in Europe and not only in Europe because we're in Turkey today, of course. Well, I think the, uh, the, the, the recent financial crisis has had a number of major impacts on the, the European and global insurance markets. To begin with, uh, it's caused a major regulatory reform initiatives to be launched at an uh, international and European level. And even though the insurance companies were not as, to much, as much to blame for the financial crisis as the banks, they haven't escaped the, the regulatory reform, I'm afraid, because for a very, very simple reason, that even though the banks are the most to blame for the crisis, I think insurance companies must share some of the blame also because quite often they actually provided the capital for banks to invest in, in complex financial products and off-balance sheets financial products. So the, the purpose of the new regulatory reforms is to make sure that insurance companies and pension funds behave, with, uh, behave responsibly and sustainably and exercise due diligence before making irresponsible investments. So you consider that they deserve to suffer right now, <laughs> to say so? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say suffer, but I hope, I hope that I hope the new regulation is proportionate to the to the detriment that's caused in financial markets. So, so what we're hoping to see is that the the, the new phase of regulatory reform will, will be about consumer protection, because what we're seeing in Brussels, for example, is that the first phase of regulation was about rescuing and stabilising the financial system. I think people should not underestimate just how difficult the financial system was in. You know, it was really, really quite close to financial collapse. So, understandably, the priority of the regulators and the policy makers and the central banks was to rescue and stabilise the system. I think we then moved on to the next phase where, where the, the central banks and the policy makers and the regulators want to make sure that a, a crisis like this doesn't happen again or at the very least the risk of a crisis like this doesn't happen is, is reduced. So now we're actually moving on to the third phase is that now they've put in place new measures to stabilise the financial system and new measures to make sure that banks and insurance companies are better managed and more prudently manage then the next phase is to make sure that insurance companies and financial institutions generally treat customers fairly and really this is what a, this is what the IMD review is about and what the MIFID directive review is about and all the other range of initiatives that we're seeing coming out of the, the European Commission and the European Parliament it's now all about treating customers fairly. You've had a very interesting presentation today and I would like to, to ask you to tell us a few words about your presentation. What was the main subject and uh, what about the reactions you had over the presentation? Well, I must say, it was actually, I, I was actually quite, quite surprised actually because uh, I, I actually learned quite a lot today. Um, I must confess that most of my experience is based in, in the UK and in sort of the, the Western European economies. And what I found today was actually that, you know, that, there, that there is quite a a diverse range of experiences across Europe. You know, there's different business cultures, different distribution systems, and so on. But at the same time, I think there was actually more. There was more in common than I had first understood as well. Because, because even though consumers have different attitudes to risk or attitudes to insurance, I think they all demand the same thing. They all want to be treated fairly. They all want to be. They, they, they all want to buy transparent, uh, value for money products. So I think there's actually more in common across Europe than we than we had first realised. I think what I would like to see is a is a single European market that works for all consumers, and indeed a global uh, a global insurance market that works for all consumers. What should the Eastern European companies do? Change their strategies in order to get to that uh, level of transparency and uh, for customers to trust them as you, as they should. Well, I think everybody, everybody benefits from transparency, and I think my the, the, the single piece of advice I would give to Eastern European insurance companies is to is to learn from the UK how not to do things. I mean, we, we have got so many things wrong in the UK. We've got the regulation wrong. I think the insurance companies got their strategies wrong, and as a result, there's been a real collapse in confidence and trust in the UK insurance industry. So my advice to Eastern Europe and other developing economies in the further east is that learn from us. You know, don't do. Things things the way we did it. So how are things nowadays in the UK? You've done mistakes as you've said, but how are things nowadays after two years and something of crisis? Well, I mean, it's interesting. I think, I mean, some, some of the some of the scandals and crises in the UK insurance industry ha have been happening for the past two decades. This has not been a, a new phenomenon. You know, it's not happened in the past couple of years. It's happened over the past 20 years. We've had a we've had a litany of uh, mis-selling scandals in the UK, which has resulted in a, a collapse in confidence and trust. Now. I think there is signs of encouragement. I think a lot of the insurance companies are now realising that it's in their interests to improve the way they, they treat customers. They, they realise now that it's better for them, it's better for their customers, it's better for society generally. But I think what I'm most pleased about is that the, the, the UK regulators are now actually starting to address the underlying causes 
of market failure. I think previously we've, we've actually had too much regulation, but it's been the wrong kind of regulation. It has not actually tackled the things that cause market failure. I think we're now, we've now learned the lessons of the past and we're now hope, hopefully going forward, markets will work much better and regulation will be more effective as well. Mm -hmm.